Hey guys, so um, I'm back and I decided I was going to do after one of my friends requested I do a blue smoky eye. I said, okay, I can do that. Now I'm looking around and I realize I don't have anything out for me to get started. So let me grab some brushes, hold on, and some eyeliner and stuff. But I'm just going to do the eye look for you. Um, and I may get a little carried away later on. I'm going to use this hip um, as my base. I'm going to use the hip um, cream eyeliner. And this different, this kind of smoky eye I'm going to try is just that it's like a thick blue liner here and then it's blended out from there. So it's not all over the eyes, it's just kind of more of a subtle look. So bear with me um, as I see if I can get it right on camera. Okay. I'm not going to try to get it into the eyelid. I mean into the corner, middle corner, because I don't want it to put it there. But I am trying to get it down all the way to the lid. And a little bit higher. Just a little higher, see that? Now with that, I'm actually going to take um, um, NYX, and they're having like a 20% 20, 20 off sale, and it's called the, I don't know, lid brush. I'm going to use Blue Storm, it's a matte color, but any color like that, it's kind of blue, kind of sparkly, have a little bit of sheen, I'm going to put that right over it, close to the lid and then blend up. I'm not putting it in the inner corner because it, um, I don't want for it to be like, um, I'm going to put something lighter in the corner so it's not so dramatic. that and build up more. So starting low then bringing it up. Then pretty soon I'm going to have to switch to an actual blending like a crease brush the higher I go. Okay, so 
what I was going to do is I'm taking the crease brush here and I'm using Molten. And I'm only going to take a little bit because it goes on really hard. And I'm going to blend it in. Same over here. So that's it. And I'm not going to highlight with anything really um, shimmery. I'm actually going to use Mylar from MAC and that's that one. And this is to keep it a little more matte. please make sure that um, you go along the bottom because you're going to have a lot of fallout from packing on that blue and you don't want to walk out with dark spots under your eyes. So I'm going to do that later. But in the end, I'm going to use this 224 by MAC and this is my ultimate blending to bring all the colors together and make sure that nothing is like standing out extra. Alright, so that's my blue. I actually probably could add a little more blue. But whenever I have more black, I mean, I'm sorry, a brown crease. Alright, bye guys. One thing I forgot to do that's really going to set it off is use, um, what is this one? Gorgeous Gold, and it's from an old matte collection, and the color looks like this, and that's going to go right in this inner part. To bring out the eye. That helps open the eye and then um, not make it so dark. Spread it up a little bit. Alright. Bye.